Today, right now, we are privileged, privileged to open the Word of God. We're going to be talking about Psalms 38, but I want to remind you that we're just giving you a nugget. We're not going through the whole thing. For you to get all that God wants you to get out of this, you need to use this as like a primer for a pump, and you need to read the entire psalm, Psalms 38, and read it slowly and repeat it and see what God is saying to you. So today, like gold in our hands, we believe the Bible is the word of God. We also value it because it tastes like honey in our mouths. So Psalms 38, uh, I want to remind you that we're just, again, again, it's David, and he's having a really, really bad day. Let me tell you what's happening to him. It is just one problem after another after another. And it's not that he's got a hangnail or something like that. It's not something minor, which is something major. We don't want to diminish that at all, but it's like, it's life and death. He's going to be killed. He's going to be destroyed. The kingdom is going to be taken away from him. The word of God is going to be of none effect. So it seems like a tidal wave of bad news is coming up on him. But then right in the middle of the psalm, in verse 15, he says, For in you, O Lord, listen to that, in you, O Lord, I hope, in you, repeat that to yourself, in you. You, O oh Lord, I hope. I'm looking at all my problems, but I'm now going to the word of God. In you, O oh Lord, I hope. Why? Because God is in control. God is sovereign. And God hears my prayers. You need to know that. You need to understand that. God hears your prayers. But he doesn't stop with that. He says, oh Lord, you hear my prayers, but you feel my pain. You understand that. And Lord, you want to help me. So in your word, oh God, an expression for you, a re revelation just for you from God, the word hope, he's saying in you, oh Lord, I hope because you hear my prayer and you feel my pain. And the word hope there is the word yakal, which literally means I wait. I am going to be one with you, God. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to listen. I'm going to dismiss everything else. I'm going to focus on you, O oh Lord. And I am hoping in you. So look at David today. And you be like David. I don't know what's going on in your life, but I know what's going on in my life. I know what's going on in the world. But right now it seems like there's chaos everywhere you look. But God is not the God of chaos. That's satanic. God is not the God of character assassination. That's Satan. God is the God of peace and joy and hope in Jesus Christ. So today, just take your Bible and read it. Read Psalm 38 and hope, yakal, wait until you receive a touch, a word, a message from God Almighty and experience his healing touch. Thank you so much for being with us today. And I hope you have a blessed day day, a blessed week, and a blessed life.